Welcome back to ClickCom.com's video series on how to utilize Facebook fan pages for business. This is part one on how to create a pay-per-click advertising account. Hyper-targeting by demographic is one of the key features that we will explain in detail in this presentation. So let's go ahead and get started. First thing we're going to do is sign into our Facebook account. We're assuming from our last videos you already have a fan page account set up. You go log in. We're going to go ahead and go over to ads and pages. Left hand navigation. Click on ads and pages. The next screen will come up. You want to go to create an ad. Right hand corner. Red button. Click on create an ad. Then we're going to start creating our ad. The first thing we want to do is type in our URL that the ad will lead to. You can do a secure HTTPS or unsecure. We're not going to sell a product. We're just going to show a service. So we'll leave it at HTTP. And we're going to show, we're going to talk about and create an ad about our blogger.clickcom.com. Now notice as you're typing in the title and the body text out to the right, your ad will start to appear as we'll look on Facebook profiles. Now let's make sure everybody knows when you're in your Facebook fan page or when you're in your personal profile to the right side of the screen you're starting to see ads. I'm sure everybody's noticed that. So this is what we're starting to create. It's very convenient to show the ad out to the right. Now we're going to look for a graphic to have our ad pop stand out. We're going to use my logo. I like my logo, but you can have a picture, picture of a product, an animation, anything that you want. Picture of your service that portrays your service. I do like my logo, so I, I think it's catchy, so we use our logo quite often in our ads. And there it is. Now later we'll show you how it actually steps, uh, sets up on a profile page. Now here is the hyper-targeting. Right now as it stands, everywhere in the United States, every language in the U.S., we have 105 million people that we can target. Now the hyper-targeting is how we start to drill down on who we actually want to show our ad to. The first demonstration of the hyper-targeting will be going from everywhere in the U.S. by state. So you just click on the radio button. Type in a state that you want to target. We'll demonstrate North Carolina. We go from 105 million people to 2.5 million people. Or by city. Type in Charlotte. Now that drops us down to 726,000 people. Obviously that's important for a few reasons. One would be price. The less people you're targeting, the less cost per click Facebook will charge you, depending on your category. Now we're gonna we're gonna target. We're gonna limit age. We don't want anybody under the age of 35. You can choose by sex, by interested in what sex. If they're in a relationship, just click on the radio buttons or the check boxes depending on the category, the field. At the moment we have all sexes interested in both men or women, we don't care, and they're in all relationships. And we have 48 million people that we're going to be targeting. We can narrow the language. We are going to go just to US English, and we're down to 46 million people. likes and interests we're going to leave that one blank what level of education you can see how very precise the workplace 
can target just your business. You can target somebody else's business. You can target somebody in Coca-Cola or used to work in Coca-Cola. Facebook acquired all this data. If you remember when you signed up your profile, you answer a series of questions and that's where they get their data. Connections. Target users that are not already connected, so you can actually advertise for your fan page if you want. Friends of connections, very, very, very specific. That's why we call it hyper targeting. Unlike Google and Yahoo, where it's keyword specific, you can do some geographic uh, specific, but you can't do it demographically by age and whatnot on pay-per-click. Now we are going to talk about uh, naming our campaign, setting our budget from one dollar to as much as you want per day, and this is pay-per-click. You're going to notice uh, after we schedule start date, stop date, you don't have to have a start or a stop date, uh, but you can limit your ad per season if you're going to go away not check your reporting you can do a start and stop date. Now you can do pay per impression which we're going to cover in another video. This is pay per click. Pay per impression is if you have a thousand per thousand impressions you'll get charged a fee. We're only going to do pay per click so every time somebody clicks on your ad that's when you get your fee charged to your account. You see here also will suggest a minimum and maximum price for your maximum exposure. You can go lower than that, you can go higher than that to make sure that you get as much as, as much exposure as you need. I typically stay right in the range unless I'm looking for a quick return or a slower return. I'll go above or below. Now I'm just going to put in three dollars just to see what the estimated click per day would turn out to be and as it turns out it's not going to be much more or less so we'll keep it at three dollars but as we do part two of the series I'm going to change it back to under 80 cents and you see it does not do much to the estimated clicks which is right below the max bid max bid meaning how much you're willing to pay now we're going to review the ad and internet's running a little slow now there's our ad now this is the end of part this is the end of part one part two will show how to retweak the ad and go into more detail on reporting and placement of the ad so check back soon and please go ahead and subscribe to our channel so you can find part two and we appreciate you watching